Ιησούς Χριστός νικάει και όλα τα κακά σκορπάει. Ιησούς Χριστός νικάει και όλα τα κακά σκορπάει. Ιησούς Χριστός νικάει και όλα τα κακά σκορπάει. Ιησούς Χριστός. It happens a few years later to me now. I went to my bedroom. All of a sudden, I can feel, I hear the energy again. The and this cold air. And I couldn't go to sleep. And, and my parents' bedroom is across, and I can't even get out of the room because I'm so scared. Because I can feel it. I can hear it. It's and I can hear its demonic voice. And I'm like, I, I'm not leaving my room. I I am not leaving. I had put holy oil all over. I'm sitting. I'm sitting in my room with holy water. Like sitting like this, going. If it comes anywhere near me, I'm gonna throw holy water. It is the most scariest, uneasy, cold. Uh, the smell it's it's like smell of death that's what you smell it is it creeped me out even now talking about it, it scares the sh it, it still scares me the, sh the shit out of me but i know i can protect myself now you know what i mean i i, I am considered an uh, eclectic witch but I'm, I'm a christian my name is georgia triadafilo i'm an empath and a medium take a bit of everything into my craft. I am a Pisces, so I do love the water, and I do sometimes meditate in, uh, in my bathtub. I like to sit and meditate, sometimes on the ground, but I take from garden, I'll take from cooking, I'll take from healers, I'll take from any element, I'll, and I'll make it my own. I don't believe in one type, I work with everything. I work with all my elements, that's what it means. So it's pretty much, is trying to manifest is meditation it's meditation to manifest what you want what you desire uh, which is supposed to be a healer i try to use remedies that have come from mother nature and use it for good i don't consider myself an evil witch but it's not I'm not an evil or a good witch because witchcraft is a great it's not good it's not bad it's a, a great it's not magic it's not like you see on television and you hold the power in your hands and you're throwing the electricity it doesn't work like that. witches are some people who are healers who want to manifest that's what it is you have to be careful what you project out in the universe as you never know. So I choose for the black magic, dark magic, I stay away from it. Because I'm scared I, I am powerful enough that I can cause damage and I don't want to. Because I believe in karma and I don't want it to come back to me or to my family. So I try to stay away. I usually, even as angry as I get, I'll say I forgive them. I forgive myself for feeling the way I do. I forgive them, but I, 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 there's a saying. I don't, I don't hate you, I don't want you to start, but you cannot sit at my table anymore. You don't play with somebody. That's the thing with dark magic and all that. You're playing with somebody. You're playing with somebody's life or you're playing with somebody's emotions or you're playing with, spirit, uh, with dark spirits, but there's always a payback to it. And you will have to pay back. Now how you're gonna pay back for it? Is it with your life? Is it with your family's life? Somebody you love? That's why I try to stay away from it. And I really, I don't know much because I choose not to know much for my own well-being. Because I am human. There is times I have gotten extremely angry or I felt like I hate someone or I hate somebody for doing something. And I don't want to have that anger or hate and know something like that. That is so weird. Both of them went off at the same time. Yeah, because it's impossible that it's completely full. Alright, this really started the show. Okay, that's weird. Okay. <laughs> okay. For me, it's not weird. I'm used to it. So, it's, uh, so, it's, so you're saying it, that sometimes this happens? Uh, yes, yeah. a lot. Yeah. I don't know if it's me. Is it my aura? Is it the energy in this house but it happens often it's just energy i can sense things i can feel things with people people well people as i told you they're very attracted to me animals and people and kids are extremely attracted to me and i can feel when someone 
depending how they're feeling, are they in a good mood, are they okay mood, are they upset, but everything plays a role, like your body language, your eyes, I read eyes, I can tell by looking in your eyes, I'm like, because they say it's the window to your soul, so pretty much you know how someone feels or something going on, you can sense it, but usually my empath is, I just attract everybody else. That's a power, a good, and I told you, it's a curse and a gift. As I told you, I saw evil, but I have seen also good. I've seen, I uh, see three times Archangel Michael has saved my family. My father had fell down, had a head injury. We almost lost him, he almost died. And uh, I brought the Archangel uh, the icon. Now, my father grew up with this icon from when he was a baby and it comes down from the family. And they called us from the hospital telling us, your father has two hours to live. I fell on my knees crying. Anyways, see, it still makes me sensitive. I went to the hospital, I brought the icon, I put it on top of him. And all of a sudden, and you would see he was deteriorating. You see the, like, like spider webs when you start deteriorating. From that moment, all of a sudden, it's like you see his blood coming back. He came back alive. My father could have been paralyzed, they told us in the beginning. He could be paralyzed, he wouldn't be able to talk, he wouldn't be able to walk in. Uh, he might never get out of the hospital. In three months, he was fine and out of the hospital. I have a gift that I've had my whole life. It comes uh, from my father. Uh, we found out recently, because my father never really talks about it much, only that we knew that he could see his father. His father passed away in 1975. Uh, we found out when my father was in the hospital that my aunt was getting visits, his sister was getting visits from her father. But he, she was seeing him regularly, like a, as if a person, you see a person, and he would tell her everything my father was going through, even without phone calls from us. So we realized it comes from my father's side. It's pretty much my father's siblings. Now, how far back does it go? We're not sure. But we know from that side that uh, we got the gifts. And uh, so it's me, my sister has a gift, uh, my niece, and uh, Gabriel. He's starting to see things, but he's been seeing now for a few years. And my husband's had experience growing up, though he doesn't really like talking about it, but they've had experience in that house. You'll see. I, I, I can't explain it until you feel it. You say you feel some weird things happen here? Eh, there the energy is stronger because it's a more older house. It's a farmhouse, so people were living there in the beginning of 1800s. That is my husband's childhood home. He grew up there. It's a house that's built 1833, been uh, burned twice, rebuilt again. Uh, it's a beautiful place, but you feel a lot of energy in there. But I don't, I can't say I've seen anything, but I never stay too long there. If I do, I stay on overnight. I really, I, only that I feel there's something there, but I haven't seen anything there, I haven't experienced anything. But it's really beautiful and peaceful. Uh, so you mentioned that uh, your son uh, is inheriting the my, gift? Yeah, he's yeah. inheriting my gift. It started with nightmares. That's how it started with me, with really violent nightmares. The, and then all of a sudden he started telling me he, he, he heard this or he saw a shadow, but I'll let him explain all that. Like on Halloween, the power, my, my, my mom's gift and my gift are get stronger because that's when every, everybody comes out from the dead. During Halloween or during when it starts getting colder, it, it starts opening, it, like the walls get thinner from the underworld and the overworld. 
So that's why on Halloween, it the walls just opened. Sometimes from the underworld, sometimes from up above, but depends because down below, it's that's the time where they actually get to shine their power. We would all have a plate to ourselves on the dinner, and then there was also one plate left for the dead. Last year, I also saw like a dead person sitting next to us, it, like in the seat of the dead. It was really cool. I just saw it for a second, because it looked like it was eating for one, because uh, we were all having a dinner at the time, so, but it, we were all eating. It didn't give me like chills, it, like, it was a good vibe. Recently, a, a good friend of, of mine passed away, and um, when it happened, I actually reached out to her to basically ask her, like, what do I do? Like, I never got the chance to say goodbye, and she actually told me what exactly I had to do, and by doing so, it gave me a peace of mind, and it really made me um, appreciate life, especially with friends. So I think that I'm very, very happy that she was there to guide me and to basically tell me, you know, you have to, you can, I mean, the person is not here anymore physically, but just to talk to the person, it gave me another closure. You are, you're good. So no matter what, in every life, you've always been blessed. Even though you got killed, it was your faith in God that keeps bringing you back to do good in your life. So you are meant to do good. You are here to do things right and meant to be good. But yes, you were, at one point in your life, you were royalty. Royalty? Yeah. Wow. At one point in your life, you were royalty. But you know, it's, it's very strange because I always felt that. You were royalty. Because as a kid, ask my mom. All my drawings uh, as a kid, castle. You were royalty. There is one of your lives you were royalty. And it shows in the Victorian times you were royalty. Ben Georgia, comme je dis, c'est très récent euh, comme amitié. C'est une personne qui a un grand cœur. C'est une personne qui a la facilité avec les gens, les êtres humains. Euh, beaucoup de connaissances, c'est sûr que ça, ça pique la curiosité. Euh, certaines fois, la mère qu'elle qu explique les choses par rapport à son expérience de vie, ses connaissances justement sur euh, le milieu. Et puis, euh, mais c'est une personne extraordinaire. C'est une personne qui a une belle aura, une belle énergie. Et puis, euh, je me considère extrêmement choyé d'avoir fait de sa connaissance et puis de la considérer une de mes amies. Why I do it is, I still have a lot of things that I'm overcoming, but I like to help people. So by helping people, you yourself with. Me.